Fellas, it's the stick reporting and to remind you that it is a mindset, right? I think we all know this by now. I think science, in fact, proves that it's a mindset. Now, why exactly am I gonna talk about this again? You know, you say, Sticky Ricky, you've been talking about the mindset for damn near 10 years. And that is indeed true, but listen, there's come different circumstances that I wanna spew at you. Do you know what I'm saying? Tidbits, loads of knowledge, right? Easy to swallow no loads of knowledge that it can in fact help your performance, all right? Now listen, today I benched and I ordered a bunch of different resistance bands. Now fellas, here's the thing with resistance bands. Don't get the cheap ones off of Amazon, okay? If you get cheap bands, what they're gonna lack is uh, consistency with resistance, one versus the other. You wanna, you know what I'm saying? There's good quality bands, like Elite FTS, Soren X, Rogue, those probably are better bands, right? These are Elite FTS bands. I've learned my lesson. I bought um, cheap ones many times back in the day, and I would set them up, and it's like, what the hell? One would feel way looser than the other. Now, anyways, that's, that's beyond the point, fellas. I don't want to shill companies, okay? That's not the point. Couldn't give a damn about these companies, okay? They're sucking all my money out of my wallet. Um, but it's, it's worth it. Now, why is it worth it? Because I bought these bands because I have this new rack, okay? And with this rack, fellas, is, uh, you know, just these holes everywhere, right? And these, these pegs, okay? These little pegs that you can put, you know, you can put them on the bottom, you can put them on the top. So I said, well, well damn, I wanna mess around with these band resistance, okay? And fellas, so what I've, I bought bands of many different sizes, shapes and sizes, okay? You got the light band, all right? You got the medium band, you got the heavy medium band, and then the heavier band, right? So I put the orange band on, the lightest one, and it's like, damn, I hardly feel this. You know, you work up to a couple plates, you know, why don't I put this next level up band? You put that on, it's like, okay, that's not bad, but we're still at a couple plates. You put another band on, and three bands on, and it's like, okay, there's, I have no idea how much band tension there is, but I'm looking at it, and it's only three plates, so I'm smoking it, you know what I'm saying? But I got triple bands on, okay? Now, as it gets heavier, right, I take some of the bands off, okay, right? So I'm thinking to myself, well, I got less bands, I should still be able to smoke this, okay? You take all the bands off, Right, and you see where you're at. All right, 425 was my first attempt. Neutral grip, first time ever maxed out of this bar in years, okay? The only other times I've done it were with very, uh, you know, chains, uh, weight releasers, bands, um, you know what I'm saying? So 425. I throw on the old reverse band, right? Then we get to the 455, we get to the five plates, okay? And I'm thinking to myself, all right, I'm primed up, freaking five plates. Take the reverse band off. Now we go for 435, move it up the same speed as the 425. You know, let's go up even a little bit heavier, 445. Now, fellas, if I wasn't doing the light bands to explode, right, prime up the CNS with those warm up sets, I don't know what I would have maxed out on. But the beautiful thing with the light bands for the resistance is you're just thinking one plate, two plate, right? I'm gonna freaking annihilate the one plate, two plate. You know, I'm gonna push through with speed, I'm gonna explode, right? And then, once you're not exploding anymore and you're grinding those suckers, you put the reverse on, now you're looking at it, you're saying, damn, I got a lot of plates on here, I'm moving some serious ass weights, okay? Once that starts getting a little bit harder, right, then you take off that heavy assist, that, you know, reverse band, and now you're looking at the weights and you're saying, well, damn, I just did five plates, I don't know how much resistance or assistance was helping with that, but now I'm gonna smoke this, right? And you know what? So basically, I was able to squeeze out uh, uh, 20 more pounds because, you know, 445, let me just say it right here, 445, fellas, is the most I've ever been able to do with the neutral grip bar. Neutral grip is much harder than pronated grip, you know what I'm saying? So when you're throwing the punches, you're throwing pronated, you want that strong, that's your strongest explosive, you know what I'm saying? That's why you can see all these jabronis maxing out the gyms. Their elbows are flared to the max because that's the strongest position, all right? So the fact that, you know, I'm doing, you know, 445 with the neutral grip, that's telling me that I'm right around the box, right? With the freaking pronated grip. Now here's the here's another golden freaking fat load of knowledge spewing at you. This fellas, 
from everything that I've seen, right? The people that specialize in bench, they're making big gains, right? They're making big strength gains. The only limitation is your shoulders start feeling tweaky, all right? You don't want to push those pecs and those shoulders if they're feeling tweaky. You don't want to tear any tendons, okay? So what do you do? Well, you say, Sticky Ricky, you know, listen, let me just put it at some, let me just throw something at you real fast. You know, they say, if you believe it, you can achieve it. Well, let me show you somebody here. This is Rick De La Stick, okay? This is a freaking, this is freaking the stick right here, all right? And you got his good friend, you know, hogging the toboggan, the freaking, you know, lower trapezius development. You know, look at the detail, the detail, the, the detail from Mattel, the detail, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if you look at these action figures, it's like, well, what's the difference? They all have the same joints. They got the shoulder joint, they got the elbow joint, right? And they got the, the, the ball and socket hip joint, you know? And you look at this and you're like, well, damn, Del Hagen, you know what I mean? Like, why can't you do that? And the thing is, you know, why can't I do this is the question. Well, I can't do it because I haven't prioritized stretching. I haven't pro prioritized mobility. Now, here's the thing, fellas. That's fine and dandy. You're in your teens. You're in your 20s. Even in your, you know, you, you know, you're freaking 30 years old even. You know, even when I was 30, it didn't matter. I didn't really have to stretch much. A little bit here, a little bit there. I was good. Loose as a goose, you know. But then you get some injuries. You get some tweaks. Things tighten up a little bit. Gravity starts to defy you. Now, here's the thing. Uh... You got to stay on top of mobility, guys, because this is, it's going to end up biting you in your ass. Now, the thing is, a couple of years ago, I was stronger at benching than I am now because I was specializing in it. But on top of that, I was taking care of myself. And luckily, I just found this sucker again, the massage gun. Okay, it doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter. You could even use a freaking uh, lacrosse ball, you know, you know, freaking baseball, shove those suckers in your muscles, you know what I'm saying? Because, guys, this kind of stuff, right? I'm just starting to realize more and more that this is the key to continuous gains, you know what I'm saying, with your strength. Because you can only push your body so much, so frequently, things are gonna start getting tense. And we're freaking, listen, our bodies are freaking chains, you know what I'm saying? If we have any weak links, that's gonna hold us back. Now, it's like stick. Why can't you make progress in bench? Well, it's because every time I start getting stronger or whatever, I get tweaks in my shoulders. Now, why is that? It's because my shoulders are freaking tight. I got the worst shoulder mobility in the world. But also, I'm not taking care of it. I'm not doing any self myofascial release. You know what I'm saying? So, fellas, the golden tidbit here is foam rolling. Um, if you get, listen, there's so many companies now that sell these massage guns. I really, um, I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna be a shill for the massage gun. It doesn't matter what company, you know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to buy this or that, I'm just saying. I think these are a game changer, fellas, because listen, I had knee surgery, and let me remind you again, three 100% full tears in the patellar tendon, okay? Sewn together with cheese cloth and fishing wire meant for a baby beluga whale, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's like, well, stick. I've lost all my mobility now, right? Because I haven't been stretching because it's been, you know, I couldn't for months. I couldn't even bend my knee. And now it hurts to feed the cat. You know what I'm saying? To bend over and put the cat kibble in the dish is hard to do. You think I'm gonna be squatting a house if I can't even feed my cat? Absolutely not. And that's where the stretching comes into play. And the easiest thing you can do before you get into your activities or like even for instance today, I was benching. You know what I started doing? Before, I said, let's get these freaking packs, these freaking packs fired up. Let's get some blood flowing through the packs, the delts, right? The traps, the freaking, you feel the blood flow going to your brain. Fellas, let me tell you something. I think we all know something by now. We know blood flow is the key, right? You know, you, you, you hear people say, hey, I tore a muscle, whatever, no biggie. But you tear a tendon, you tear a ligament, now all of a sudden we got a problem. Now, why is that? Well, it's because the tendons and ligaments don't really have any blood flow, you know what I'm saying? So they take forever to heal because blood is healing, you know what I'm saying? Blood has nutrients, right? You suck down your proteins, your freaking blood sugar's peaked, you know? That's when you're freaking lifting, you get the blood flow, you get the pump, it's feeding the muscles, you know? But if you're tight and your blood flow sucks, right, you can easily address that with a little self-massage, you know? And let me tell you something, benching today felt a lot better than I was expecting. My shoulders have been tweaky lately. Every time I go to the gym, it's like, damn, I wanna press, but I can't, because every time I feel like I tweak my shoulder, 
right? Because you have, you have to use the freaking crappy straight bars there, which hurt your shoulders. So here's another golden piece of advice. Listen, if you're serious about wanting to bench press off and get a stacked and jacked bench, probably should get a neutral grip barbell. Because the Swiss bar, the neutral grip bar, way less stressful on your shoulders. That means you're gonna be able to do it with a higher frequency. That means you're gonna be able to squeeze more and more gains, right? The more you do something, the better you get. It's just freaking science, okay? So my point is, fellas, a couple of golden tidbits here. A, take care of your freaking mobility because otherwise you're gonna be very injury prone. And once you get injured, Say goodbye to all your gains. You know what I'm talking about? Your strength gains are gonna go out the window. The size gains are gonna go out the window. A lot of you are gonna say, well, stick. You've freaking gotten as big as a house after getting hurt. Listen, upper body, sure. Lower body, chicken legs. You know what I'm saying? Or at least that's what everybody tells me. You got yeah, training legs, right? Now, is that because my upper body is the size of the house? You know what I'm saying? So I look like a lollipop? Probably, you know what I'm saying? But also, the fact of the matter is, because of my patellar tender being freaking ruptured, right? You know, it's been six, seven months or having Austin's surgery, but I still can't comfortably squat. I can't comfortably walk down the stairs. You know what I'm talking about? I can't comfortably do any of that kind of stuff. My knee is still, you know, it's a pain in the ass. So I can't push the trees, the tree trunks, the legs. You know what I'm talking about? Um, now, did my lack of flexibility and stuff maybe play into all that? Maybe it did. You know, maybe it did. Maybe, uh, but I'll, I'll tell you something right now. My lack of flexibility, if I don't address it, is going to be the cause of whatever next injury I get, you know? Because let me tell you something right now. I've been rehabbing, you know, I'm feeling good, getting the strength back, you know, slowly but surely, right? Getting the size back very slowly but surely. Um, but, you know, I was moving around. We did a little rehab in the ring the other day, you know, and I had freaking, I thought I tore my meniscus in my good leg just because, you know, I don't have any freaking hamstring flexibility. You know what I'm talking about? Luckily, I'm not injured, but people are asking, oh, Sticky Ricky, why do you got the knee sleeve on the other leg? Well, that's why. I thought I hurt myself, unfortunately. Just moving. You know what I'm talking about? Just just moving, right? So the mobility, listen, fellas, you know, I just preach things that I've learned with my wisdom, my age. You know what I'm talking about? When I was a young lad, I didn't need to stretch or do any of that kind of stuff. You're fine. Your mobility is your youth, really. You know, the tighter you get, you say goodbye to your gains, basically. Like, just the proof is, you look at like an old man in a grocery store. You know, I just the other day, I saw an old man paying for his groceries. This guy could hardly even freaking reach back and grab his wallet. He was so tight, so freaking hunched forward. You know what I'm talking? He could benefit a lot from having a massage gun loosening up those anterior delts and those pet, pets. You know what I'm talking about? You ever see those old people? They're so freaking. They're like, you know what I'm talking about? They're so freaking tight. You think they're gonna be hitting world records on bench press? Making even not even world records, but PRs. You think they're gonna hit PRs and bench press? Absolutely not, because they're freaking tight. Now, if they were addressing their tightness and stuff, maybe they could be setting, you know, old time or senior citizen world records, but when you're looking like that, you're that tight, say goodbye. You're gonna have a hard time even sitting down, have a hard time going to the freaking toilet. You know what I'm talking about? Getting in your bed. You gotta stay on top of your mobility. Uh, another thing on top of that is the bands, guys. You gotta manipulate the mindset, is what I'm talking about. Sticky Ricky's dirty manipulation techniques, all right? Watch this footage, I think you'll see what I'm talking about.